Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with ASB. This is our morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news that the nation's largest banking group, ANZ National, with about 40% of the market, has announced this tightening its credit criteria for new housing loans. It says it won't be doing any more 80% plus loan to value ratio loans or at least generally won't be. And if it does do them on the very rare occasions, it wants a new registered valuation. It also says it won't be doing any more 60% plus low doc loans. These are loans for small businesses who can't prove their salaries. This is all part of the credit crunch and to be frank, isn't too much of a surprise. Many of the banks now have tightened up their lending criteria for loans as they find it difficult to get the easy money from the rest of the world that they've depended on to grow their mortgage books over the last four to five years. Meanwhile, news out from Wellington that there is a stimulus package coming of about $7 billion. Now, much of this was already planned for in the election campaign, including infrastructure spending on roads, hospitals, schools, and broadband. It's being brought forward a bit. And also we've got these tax cuts coming uh, in April. Bill English announced the plans in hopes that this will be enough to get the economy going again, along with a big cut in interest rates expected next week. Meanwhile, these fiscal stimulus packages are coming thick and fast all around the world. Europe last night announced 200 billion euro fiscal stimulus package, and China announced its biggest interest rate cut in more than a decade to try and boost its economy. Hoping for a lucky interest rate cut, the cut was 108 basis points, eight the lucky number in China, of course, down to 5.5 8%. Growth in China slowing to 7.5% next year according to the World Bank down from 11.9% and there are some real concerns there about social stability. This week workers rioted at a closed toy factory in southern China over a dispute over severance pay. I'm Bernard Hickey that was 90 at 9 brought to you in association with ASB.